to begin, you are going to first have to remove the rear bumper and the mufflers to access the valve area. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with those tasks. With those components removed, use an E8 torque and remove the two heat shield screws indicated by the red arrows. On the right side, you will need to move the ground cable out of the way. Use a 13 mm socket and remove the nut, yellow arrow, and swing the cable out of the way. You can now remove the heat shield out towards the front of the vehicle. It is a very tight fit, but there is absolutely no reason to bend it. The screws for the heat shield on the left side are in a different location, but it is removed in the same manner indicated by the red arrows. Note the orientation of the valve on both sides and clean the area around them extremely well. Red arrow. With the area clean, squeeze in on the release clip and separate the wiring connection, yellow arrow. Next, use an E8 torque with an extension and remove the two bolts, red arrows. I like to place a small piece of rubber glove over the socket to help not drop the screw into the valve area. The valve can be difficult to remove. Porsche calls for a special tool, but I find a hose clamp tool works well. If you are leaving the opening unattended, make sure to plug it with a clean lint-free rag or tape over it. Installation is the reverse of removal. The valve can fit to either side, but must be orientated correctly. If you are reinstalling the valve, always replace the O-ring. You must grease the O-ring with Porsche synthetic grease or equivalent. Torque the two E8 bolts to 8 newton meters or 6 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.